ever feel like you're just one step away from breaking through to the life you've always wanted? That's where I was at one time. I was 40 pounds overweight. I was stuck in a nine to five job. I was stuck in a rut, stuck in a nightmare. That is until I figured out the secrets to leap ahead. You know, not just financially, but fitness, happiness, and fulfillment. Now here's the truth guys about transforming your life. It's not about luck or shortcuts. Many people may have different opinions on this, but I'm about to share with you some clear actionable steps that you could take. These are the same ones that I've used in my journey from a call center cubicle to living my dream life. So what's the first step? Well, first off, grab something to write on because you're going to want to remember this. So the first important aspect in all of this is knowing what you want. This is known as goal setting and to do it, simply get out a book, binder or whatever, and just write down things you want in life. Then after that, just review what you want in the mornings and night. And it's that simple guys. Now, some people might do some pretty weird stuff when it comes to goal setting. I've been to workshops before where they had people to sit down, visualize with incantations, all these aromas to feel. Honestly, it was kind of weird and it felt like something like a cult or something. But you don't have to do that, guys. Trust me, you don't have to do that stuff. Just ask yourself what you want, write it down and make sure you don't lose sight of your goals. That's the first step. You know what? You'd be surprised at how little goal setting people actually do in life. For example, if you walk down the street and ask 10 people what the goals are for 2024, they won't have a clue. I want a boyfriend. I want a girlfriend. I want to go to Disneyland or some of the stuff people say when I ask them, what do they want this year? And while these aren't bad stuff, I can clearly see they don't really have any goals in life. They work at a nine to five, they come home, eat, and then it's just rinse and repeat. There's a quote I heard before that most people die when they're 25, but they don't get buried until they're 80. And the older I get, the more I see this being the case. So step number one to get ahead in life is know what you want. Step number two is work out and eat healthy. A little while ago, like a couple of weeks ago, I went to McDonald's for the first time in like what feels like two or three years. I was with a friend and he really wanted to go. I tried talking him out of it, but he was adamant he wanted to go because he had like coupons or something. Um, I didn't want to be a bus killer or anything. So I said, fine, I'll go with you. Now, uh, again, I very rarely go to McDay's anymore. In fact, this time when I went, I didn't even eat anything. I just sat there with them because really there's no nutrients in McDay's. It's very calorie dense. And ever since I started really understanding nutrition, like a couple of years ago, understanding calories, proteins, vitamins, I started eating a lot more fresh fruits and hitting the gym. And my life has changed completely and has changed very dramatically. Like when you're fitter, people treat you differently. I read in this book a little while ago, there's a, there's this term called the halo effect, which means that if you have one great trait, people would judge your overall character from that one trait. So in this case, if you're eating healthier food and if you hit the gym a few times a week, you'll appear very fit and healthy. And then when you meet someone new, they'll look at you and say, oh, this person must be good at a lot of stuff because look at how fit they are. This can help you land a promotion at work. This can help you get a spouse. Then in addition, you're more healthier. You're less likely to get sick and waste time and money on going to the doctor, buying medicine and junk food is expensive anyway. So you'll be saving money there. It's honestly, it's a win, win, win situation. And it's something all of us can do easily, but most of us don't, which is why if you do this, you'll get ahead of 99% of people in life, in my opinion. So that's step number two. Step number three is cancel your streaming services and learn how to build a business. You know, most people, the vast majority of people after they get up work, they just want to turn their brains off and just turn on Netflix and just go on zombie mode. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with going on zombie mode. In fact, I'll probably be going on zombie mode in a couple of hours, but if you're trying to build a business, trying to make that income and you want to get ahead of 99% of people in life. And honestly, it's very easy to do that these days. The truth is Netflix and these other streaming services are dragging you down. Cancel those and learn how to build a business. Now it might be difficult in the beginning, but just spending a few hours on it every single day, you'll be amazed at how far you can get. This is what I had to do when I first started my business. Um, I canceled everything and then I just kept on grinding in it. Oh, and here's the thing. So once you make your first dollar, you know exactly what you need to do to make your next $10 on your next $100. And honestly, once you start making a bit of money, like in my experience, once I started making money online, that streamlined my ability to get ahead in life because I was able to quit my nine to five and focus exclusively on myself 
and my business. And that's allowed me to travel the world, uh, live free and just live my dream life. Step number four on how to get ahead of 99% of people in life is to learn how to reflect. Like reflect on your day, reflect on your week and your life. Now, the reason you want to do this often is you want to learn from your mistake and learn how to improve. For example, when I review my weeks, I always learn that my biggest enemies is always myself. A lot of times in business, to be honest, I look at my competitors and I'm like, damn that guy. But the truth is my worst enemy is myself. For example, why did I go to sleep so late at night? Why didn't I spend time improving my content? Why did I drink so much on Friday night? I know it's cliche, but everyone's battle in life is a battle with him or herself. In my opinion, that's something you really only learn when you reflect honestly with yourself. And also by reflecting, you'll learn how to get better, how to optimize your mornings better. For example, how to do this faster, how to do that faster, etc., etc. Learn how to reflect with yourself and write down your learnings in your journals and you'll be well on your way to getting ahead of 99% of people in life. The fifth and last thing you can do here to get ahead of people is to learn how to be consistent. Guys, 99% of people in life will quit when things get hard. But by being consistent and persisting at things when they get hard, you will already surpass most people in life. Now, here's a story here, guys. When I was 19 years old in university, I did a summer internship with a company called Southwestern. We sold these thick books. They're called volume libraries, but they're really like encyclopedias. This is like back in 2008. And in my organization, there were so many people. And the thing is, the work was tough. Like you're out there hitting the streets, knocking on doors, getting rejected for hours and hours. And it was all on commission. So if you don't sell, you don't eat. There were a lot of people in my organization that were smarter than me, that they were more well-spoken than me, but the job was too tough for them and they quit. Now I didn't though. In that first week, I ran around the streets for like 70 hours and I made like one sale for $50 or something. That's like less than a dollar an hour. It sucked. It, it really did suck. And I remember actually on my very first day, I dropped down onto the grass and I started to cry. I was like melting off my manager and stuff. His name is like Jared. And, but I didn't quit though. You know what I did? I went home and I got up the next morning and I did it again and again and again. And by the end of the summer with zero experience and as someone who stutters, I was in the top 10% when it came to first year rookies. And this was because I was consistent. Now you don't have to be the smartest person. You don't have to be the most gifted person. But if you can learn how to be consistent, if you can learn how to continue when things are hard, you can easily get ahead of 99% of people in life. I hope some of you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, of course, drop it down below. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next video.